Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. On today's blade video, we'll be looking at the Top Prado Gnunting. This is forged by retired 2nd Lieutenant Manuel S. Prado from the Filipino Force Recon Marines. That's his logo right there. Blade steel is a spring steel. More than likely it's 5160. Blade length is 17 and a half inches. And the spine thickness is 3 sixteenths of an inch. The false edge is sharpened for back cuts. Overall length is 24.75 inches. Handle material is made of, out of uh, Kamagong. And this is an ebony wood found in the Philippines. Same thing with the scabbard itself. This is one of the preferred blades used by the, by the Filipino Force Recon Marines. And the other version of the blade that's allowed is the uh, called the Talibong. And blade length is usually from 15 inches up to 18 inches. And it depends on the gear loadout what blade length they choose to uh, carry. This is also the preferred blade of the Filipino Pekiti Tertia Kali. And the Filipino Force Recon Marines do train and use this uh, style um, in hand-to-hand -hand combat situations. When you look at the blade design, it does have a forward curving blade. Some people would equate this to a Warncliffe, but um, this blade style does damage uh, more soft uh, targets um, by just the geometry of the blade itself and the shape. My everyday carry is a Spyderco Yojimbo designed by Michael Janich and it is a Warncliffe style blade also. When you look at the way the human arm is set up, when you do a slash, it actually goes into an arc. This blade shape and style does allow the blade to stay into the target longer uh, compared to backward cur uh, curving blades. And it is a limited production blade since recruitment's going up in the Philippines uh, with the Force Recon Marines. So most of the new blades um, are going to the new recruits and uh, you know, limited numbers of these do trickle into the United States. In this day and age, uh, people have to ask the question, why do a modern uh, military force, you know, carry additional gear like this type of blade? Uh, but in the Philippines, it's a unique situation, especially in the hot zones um, in the Philippines where the Force Recon Marines go in and deal with problems. Their opponents tend to carry uh, blades and prefer to use blades, you know, up close. One of the blades that they use is called the Barong. This could slash, it could thrust, and it's pretty much like a human meat cleaver. In skilled hands, it's quite devastating. So at least if they run out of ammunition, having a larger blade, you know, for the Force Recon Marine soldiers, still gives them a chance to fight. Without it, and you're dealing with an opponent with a larger blade, you're in big trouble. This is a special blade for me. Um, took a while for me to acquire. Since I practice Filipino martial arts, this is one of the more or less bucket list blades I wanted to acquire. And this is one of the newer designs that has a pin handle. The older variants actually just had some type of adhesive holding the tang onto the handle. But overall, this is one of the you know, cool blades in my collection that I actually use. Um, this is just cleaned up right now you know, for this video. But thanks again, everyone, for stopping by and you know, 
And I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care and see you soon.